back. Yes. Hi, we're here with Bastille uh, on the first full day of Glastonbury. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. Um, so, how... Ha- ha- no, I so... Uh, yeah. Go on, then. All right. Um, how, how's your first day at Glastonbury been? Um, our first day at Glastonbury has been, I guess, a bit rubbish because of waking up to the news of Brexit and stuff, which, um, you know, is obviously quite sad and quite shocking for some people. But um, how about you, Will? Has it been all right? Yeah, I mean, that tends to put a, a downer on your day when you, <laughs> you wake up to the worst news you could imagine. But, but it is wonderful to be at Glastonbury. It's like our favourite festival in the world and... You know, it's we're we're so uh, so fucking humbled to be playing on a proper stage, well not that not that not that the rest aren't proper stages, but to be playing on a big one is is uh, is mad for us. So we're super excited to be here, but you know, obviously, it's been a bit of a weird morning for everybody. Yeah, totally. Do you think you're going to mention it later on stage? Um, we sort. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I mean, it's always tricky for. I think, obviously, everybody's got an opinion. If you're in a band and you've got an opinion and you express it, often people just will use that as an excuse to sort of knock you for it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. If it feels if it feels natural, we'll say something. I was sort of obviously hoping to go up on stage and be like, "Yeah, we're still part of Europe," and uh, that little daydream is 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 no longer. But um, I don't know. We'll see. Will we hear any new stuff from you later? Loads. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. What's the reaction? How how do you think the reaction's been to your new song? Um. Well, we put out a couple of weeks ago. We put out like a trailer with one, so- like half a song from the album. That's just it was done in one take, and it's just Will on guitar and me on vocals. And then, knowing that a few weeks later we were going to release our, our new tune, Good Grief, which is, I think it's they sort of show two very different sides of the album, of which there's a lot more scope and variation. Variation. So uh, I don't know. People seem, uh, you know, people seem to to like it. Um, we're just excited to release the whole album. Really, I can't wait. Um, you know, we've had so much fun working on it and we're really proud of it so we just want to get the whole thing out and people to hear and hopefully react like positively or negatively to all the different stuff that we've done wicked um, I'm just going to see if there's any questions guys comment on the video if you want to ask Bastille something just having a look now uh, there's, there's us, us. Uh, there's a tour coming uh, Chris Carol Hallett wants to know Is that, are you going to be touring soon yeah definitely uh, th- there's an announcement coming pretty soon for the tour um, for, for the tour that might be maybe happening we're not sure <laughs> but yeah no definitely we're, we're like we're working on it at the moment we're super excited Wicked and uh, what you got planned for later are you going to be going out Shangri-La Arcadia Yes lose ourselves in the rabbit hole go Arcadia Shangri-La District 9 like, it'll, it'll be wicked um, yeah that's what's so good at Glastonbury, like, and and we're so lucky to be playing on the Friday because now it's once it's out the way, I think um, there's like you know a full three nights and days of stuff to enjoy. I think this year because we're kind of really nervous, we deliberately have taken it really light. We didn't drink last night, so now it's all pent up. So it's going to be even more fun because we weren't allowed to have a full. Exactly, the, the gig might go well, it might go badly. Either way, we're coming off, and terrible things are probably going to happen. We're going to have a great time. Yeah. What about you? Where are you going to go out later? Yeah, well, did Blockline last night, Shangri-La tonight, I think. But yeah, maybe see that. Shangri-La this year, so that's, uh, it's like media themed, evil media. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's perfect. Exactly, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. Who owns the enemy? Uh, uh, Time Inc. UK. Uh, cool. Sorry, let me put you on the spot. Interesting. Oh, yes, yeah, live. Hello. <laughs> um, Ellie, oh, Isabel says the new song's amazing. Oh, nice. um, people are also upset about Brexit with you. Um, Mark wants to know, uh, is it the same style as the first song or completely different? Um, I kind of think every song is quite different on the album. Um, I guess Good Grief just felt like, I mean, it's like it's typically us in that the lyrics are really fucking depressing, but it's quite sort of euphoric and uplifting and it's sort of trying to capture that feeling um, somehow. Uh, but I reckon that I, I kind of think the whole album is different. It goes from like, you know, guitar and vocals through to like big old horn arrangements and like sort of hip hop drum production, sampling, um, like minimal electronic stuff. You know, it sort of jumps all over the place. I need to stop trying to sum it up. But yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like a mixtape. So I think there's a lot, of, there's a lot there. And uh, yeah, a lot for people to pick through if they have the time and patience. Wicked. Well, uh, excited to hear it later. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having us. Thanks.